Hey yo interneters, welcome back to another uh, you hear the plane? Hey yo interneters, welcome back to another video and so for today by popular demand not really, not so much popular, just a few of you we're going to be learning how to solve a Rubik's Cube today generally, I don't know about you but when I hear solve the Rubik's Cube I assume that all colors on each side of the cube is solid and so naturally I went ahead and googled how to actually solve uh, the Rubik's Cube and I stumbled upon this fact that says that there are 43 quintillion possible outcomes that the little cubies which is basically the small cubes that makes up the big cube ends up and that sounds pretty like intense and to put it in perspective for you that's the number 43 with 18 zeros and so if you're just like me and after hearing that there are 43 quintillion possible outcomes you might get a little discouraged but but there's no need to be afraid because there are geniuses out there that came up with algorithms to help solve these rubik's cube and for me i went ahead and learned the algorithm called the beginner's method which I think it makes sense and it seems fitting because I don't know how to solve a Rubik's Cube at all and so if you're interested in learning the beginner's method if you don't know how to solve a Rubik's Cube I'll leave a link down below to the video that I watch uh, to learn the beginner's method and well after spending about an hour memorizing the ins and outs of this beginner's method algorithm I went ahead and attempted to solve the cube for my very first time so I'm taking a moment out to locate all of the cubies like the small cubes that make up the bigger cube all of the cubies that make up the white cross and once I located them I began to solve for the cross and so once I got the white cross solved it's time to solve the white corners which now we'll start doing here fast forwarding through all of it because it seems boring and so close to three minute I managed to solve the last corner piece for the white one and now it's time to solve the second layer so during the process of me learn, uh, trying to solve the second layer, I got confused and stuck. I don't know how to actually move out that yellow and orange piece because it doesn't belong there. And also the green and orange spot. And so yeah, I didn't remember what the video explained on how to do this. And yeah, I started playing around with the cube trying to see if I could figure it out on my own. And well, I kind of messed up the cube at this point and you can see the white corners are like not on the white spots anymore and uh yeah I panicked a little so I eventually solved all the corner piece again and then yeah we're gonna try and solve the second layer again and hopefully we get it right this time and so we're able to solve the second layer after close to about six minutes all of the second layer is completed and now it's time to solve for the yellow like cross and at six minute and a half we got the yellow cross and from there we'll just complete the yellow corners and should be done with the cube and I would say we are done right here eight minutes and 20 seconds so yeah I managed to solve the Rubik's Cube and I was actually thinking of ending the video right here because once you know how to solve the Rubik's Cube using an algorithm you'll always be able to solve the Rubik's Cube as long as you remember the algorithm of course but you know solving the Rubik's Cube isn't as impressive as it was before and what I mean by that is now to have that wow factor you kind of gotta have the ability to like solve the Rubik's Cube with one hand uh, moves or you could do it when you're blindfolded or you're just gonna be really awesome uh, and set a world record for how fast you solve the Rubik's Cube and well with my time which was 8 minutes and 20 seconds that might as well be considered a millennia to some of the great Rubik's Cube bursts out there so with that being said I guess I kinda gotta do that and see how fast I can actually solve the Rubik's Cube now and so if I want to solve the Rubik's Cube faster it only makes sense that I gotta be able to remove the orientation of the cube faster and in the beginner's method there's only about really eight moves that you really gotta do and that's what I'm working on here you see me practicing the move on my right hand and then my left hand and so after I practiced this for maybe a total of about maybe 30 minutes I was able to do the speed of the orientation or moving the cube a lot faster 
And so now that I'm confidently able to move the cube that fast, I started to tackle solving the Rubik's Cube again. And so as you can see in the previous two clips, my time started decreasing slowly, but it was still averaging roughly around three to four minutes and it's not as fast and consistent. And so I went ahead and watched a second tutorial on how to use the beginner's method, more tips and tricks from there and to in order to solve the Rubik's Cube a little bit faster. And that was when I actually saw a lot of result when I started to trim down to the two minute mark. And so apparently you can solve under a minute with the beginner's method but for me I haven't been able to reach there yet and of course you could think of this as an introduction to my journey of starting the cubing world or cubing career or whichever and so I spent a total of seven hours or at least seven hours I don't have an accurate time because I didn't use a timer for this and yeah that's pretty much all I have for today and if you enjoyed the video, please make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And like always, thanks for watching and until next time.